It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Washington Commanders next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us a dozen miles east of the National Mall at the Holy Commanders here in Landover, Maryland. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Parker, a couple of teams that were seven dwellers a year ago, but as we've seen being around the league for a while, man, that can change one season to the next. And how often do we see, Mike, a team that finished at the bottom of their division just a year later be the division champion? I'm not suggesting that it's easy or necessarily that these two teams are going to find themselves in that position. But the NFL is made up of a formula that says you don't have to stay long forever. If you make the right decisions, you can go from worst to first very quickly. Here's Austin Cyber to get this one started. And off we go from Northwest Stadium in Landover. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Take him early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. From a pure talent standpoint, this guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. I mean, the powerful arm paired with a quick release, and he's as tough as they come. But in order for him to take that next step, he needs to put it all together on a more consistent basis. I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs here in this one, because after hearing him talk throughout the week, I think he has his sights set pretty high. Marshawn Lattimore all over that. Gets a hand in there to knock it away. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the gun, it's Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Oconquo. Really nice job there defensively playing the integrity of that zone defense so well. Anytime an offense is running these crossing routes or these underneath drag routes, they're trying to cause confusion with the underneath zone defenders. In this case, they all stuck to the reads. They all played their responsibilities. And they're not able to pick up any additional yards after the catch. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. From the 39, they come up on first and 10. They send Ridley in motion. Levis to throw here on first down. To the left side, caught by Ridley. We'll try again here, second and ten. On play action, here's Levis. Open man downfield, it's Boyd. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. When we had a chance to talk to the coach the other day, what did he tell us, Mike? He said, I want to come out and be aggressive right from the start. And with that big shot downfield here early, I think it's pretty safe to say that's exactly what they have done. Now the key is, can they turn that explosive play into an opening drive touchdown and really get off to a fast start? Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. They'll run it with Tony Pollard. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. The motion man is Boyd. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. 
and he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, it sets up third down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete and brings up fourth down. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Austin Eckler now to return. Solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it, he is far from one dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. Throwing on second down, Daniel. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. You see the first down pickup there by Luke McCaffrey, and certainly a name a lot of NFL fans are going to recognize. Obviously, the son of Ed McCaffrey, the brother of Christian. And his ability to really work in traffic, make difficult, contested catches, he's going to have to earn some of these opportunities. He had 11 games with at least one receiving touchdown. That led all college football last year at Rice. I think this is a young player that's going to surprise a lot of people and maybe surpass some expectations some of the folks on the outside maybe have placed on. They'll come up here on second down and five. A run here with the veteran. It's Austin Eckler. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. The linebacker, Jerome Baker, there to make the play. Here's third and two. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. He's down right at the 40, but that is good enough to move the chains. First down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. A good spot here, second and a yard. to move the chain. We'll take this forward for about three yards. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Here's first and ten. Another run here for Robinson. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. The linebacker, Jerome Baker, there to make the play. Go, 
second down and eight. They'll go again with Robinson. He'll work for a short game to the 25. The linebacker Jerome Baker there to make the play. Third and six. They'll go play action here with Daniel. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. So it's fourth down and Austin Seibert out to try the Washington field goal. Good snap. Good hold. Good kick. And the Commanders will tie the game at three apiece. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Whoa. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Titans offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just a pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and 10. run play and it's important to point out Mike this offensive play caller he's still working off that opening script it doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations using run game and pass unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it will be second down it's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. the 20. The commander's offense about ready to get going on their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. And this will be incomplete, but a penalty flagged down on the play. And let's see who's guilty. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far, and it draws the flag. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just time of first down. A pickup of nine. It's not just the blockers creating yards from out there. 
he created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. Here's second and three to go. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. Third down coming up. What did he tell us in our production meeting this week, Mike? He takes such great pride in his coverage abilities, and after that play, it's pretty clear why. Third down, three to go. The motion man here is McClure. And the defense snuffed that one out. It goes down as a completion, but no gain on the play. Well, you can tell that the defense had seen that play on game tape, and they were ready for it. They tried to do a little jet sweep pop pass out of the gun. Defense was all over it. Nowhere to go, no game. On fourth down, the commander is going to send out their veteran, Tress Way, to punt. Jaquan Jackson deep to return. Now, fair catch will be taken out near the 35-yard line. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Here's Levis. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Well defended there, and the quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And he gets this up close to the 40. Frankie Luvu there to make the play defensively. What can they do here on third down and seven? Levis. Open man, right side. He's got it. 14 yards on that pass play there. That's good for a Titan first down. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They go play action with Levis. He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not and be taken down there. So, a field goal apiece here in that first quarter. All even, three apiece, the score. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back after this. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. In the middle here comes Pollard and a determined run there inside the 40 it's a gain of nine yards now a third and two we'll try and run for the first down with Pollard Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The commander's offense starting to trot out for this next possession. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. Here 
the drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. And the whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. To throw is Daniel on first and ten. Quick throw here is complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Here's a designed run. And that'll give him a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. So it'll be first and ten. They'll scrimmage at the 33. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes and... Once you do, you can try to go for the big one. We'll give it to Eckler on the option. And some good running there. That's a first down up to the 43. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Here's Daniels. Open man downfield is Brown. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. Now Daniels throwing on first and ten. And unable to connect there. It's incomplete. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a runner. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Looking to keep a promising drive alive. It is third and a yard. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. Field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. 
He'll go. Here's Daniels. He's got a man. It's McClure. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. On play action, Daniels. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. Off the play thing, he'll look to throw. That is hauled in at the five. And he will score. No up loud. Touchdown, Washington. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. And you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns. Man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Austin Seibert now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Commanders take a 10-3 lead. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. Titans offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. Just a lone field goal for them so far. Down 10 to 3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. Westbrook Akine motioning here. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. And he's going to get this to the 37 yard line. set of downs to work with in his first down and 10. Now Levis. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Defense got lucky on that one. There's no one accounting for the running back out of the backfield as they should have, and fortunately for them, he bails them out by not securing the catch. They send Ridley in motion. A second down throw here for Levis. This one complete to Ridley. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free. He gains nothing. Well, let's give the defense a little credit here. You talk about read and reacting quickly. They recognize the screen right out of the jump, and he's able to beat the blocker to the spot and keep him to no gain. From the gun, it's Levis. To the left side in the hands of Bull. A pickup of 15 in the air. First down for Tennessee. to throw is Levis. And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. 
Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Off the play pick, it's Levis. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of them. So, back up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Throwing is Levis. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. Set to go now on first and ten. Out of the shot clock, Levis. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on the first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he's not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. That's about as good as it gets. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have. You are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and now you can't wait for that next ball to be thrown away. And that is incomplete. Tony Power, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down, or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals, but in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The pickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. On the return, Noah Igbenogany. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. That's where the offense will take over. The commander's offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. So here's a first and ten now. They'll start from the 24. To throw is Daniels. That's a short one caught by Sinnott. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down, it's Daniel. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll be back just outside the nation's capital after this. Third and five. They'll go play action here with Daniel. And that is incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it's going to be fourth down. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball 
is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. Tony Pollard heading out with the rest of his Tennessee teammates for their next drive. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Here's Levis. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback in their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. This is a great example of where just having situational awareness is so critical in the huddle. When every one of those receivers, Mike, breaks the huddle and go line up, they've got to know where that first down marker is. If your route calls, get by it, secure the catch, and bring up a fresh set of downs. That caught Tony Pollard. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. They'll work now on second and four. Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. to throw is Levis. He's got his man. That's four. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you, so... Big pick up there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. Levis to throw on first and ten. Looking middle, and he's got Ridley. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Throwing on second down, Levis. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. There is a flag there on the play. I think that's going to be holding on the offense. That's on the first round pick back in April, J.C. Latham. The tight end, Oconquo, is in motion. On second down, Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Levis to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ridley complete. And he's going to be out of bounds 
Jones, but they take it to the 20 yard line with that one. Two times they've connected on this drive now. This one for 21 yards and a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. He'll look for power out of that field. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle gets him down behind the line. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. He's going to get to the Kunkwo. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This from 34 yards. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Titans cut the deficit down to one. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. And no chance to return this one through the end zone for a touchback. And they'll let them to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we've hit halftime here in the home team. The Commanders are out on top as we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up, certainly a tightly contested first half, and you'd expect more of that here in the second half. A one-point game as quarter three begins. They'll get this up past the 20, and that's where they'll set up shop. The commander's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. Their lead is just a point as they begin it on this drive with first and ten. Play action. Here's Daniels. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On the option, here's Robinson. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. from the gun, it's Daniels. He's got his tight end. That's Sinek. And he'll wind up out of bounds past the 45-yard line. They get 20 on the connection. First down, Washington. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. They'll come up here first and ten. The man in motion is Zacchaeus. On the ground, it's Robinson. And drives and lose an eye from the crowd, sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. Second and a yard. On 
on play action. Daniels. And that is going nowhere fast. Disastrous play. A big loss. Third and long. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. That's taken in. It's Austin Eckler. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. The commanders about to send this one away. to a short return. The Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is that's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Frankie Luvu. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys First and ten in the red zone. I think anytime you find yourself trailing in the second half, Mike, all offensive play callers fight the urge to chase those points. They tend to get a little bit over eager. They tend to push the envelope sometimes a little too far. Those turnovers, they only make the deficit grow, not shrink. Now, there's a lot of football left, Mike. They can still get back into this. They just have to be a little bit smarter about which risks you're willing to take. The commanders are looking at a first and goal. He's taken down at the two-yard line. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time the team forces a takeaway, fumble, or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot, a deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. We just saw a great example of it here. And he will dive into the end zone. Ryan Robinson. Touchdown, Commanders! So the turnover turns into a quick touchdown, and Greg, that's exactly how you want your offense to take care of business. Anytime your defense can create those sudden change situations, Mike, absolutely, you have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field and go take advantage of the short field and results in a nice touchdown. Cyber out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the commanders are going to open up the lead to eight. Cyber now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. On the return, here's Tajay Spears. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Titans offense back onto the field for their next possession. And, look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back than in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, we're teeing off and taking advantage of it. We try again. It's second and ten. From the gun, it's Levis. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he certainly lived up to that reputation. From the gun, on third down, here's Levis. 
This one pulled in by Westbrook Akine. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. They run it straight ahead with Pollard. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Here's first and ten. Levis to throw. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. They run on the jet sweep. And that one shut down right away. Good pressure on the backside. The defense stops him for no gain. Here's third and two. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he will get into the end zone. Kick Okonkwo. Touchdown, Titans. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. Levis will bring the Titans to the line, looking for two. Now they'll set up to throw. And that is not going to work. It's incomplete. Trying to tie the game with a two-point conversion, but unable to do so. on the field for their next drive. The lead is two, and they're going to try to make something happen here, starting with a first and ten. That one complete to Brian Robinson. And a mark him down just shy of the 40. The ability to generate explosive plays is the greatest correlation with the ability to score points. So every defense nowadays is trying to say, cannot let them throw the ball over our head. And what does that do? Gets you a little bit more depth in your drops. Makes it a little bit easier for some of these check down pickups. From the gun, it's a give to Eckler. And good blocking up front. Paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Come to the line now on second and two. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. 
He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run. And they bring him down there, but he is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack, so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. Bad in motion is Brown. They'll run with Robinson. And he'll crunch forward to the two, setting up second and goal. Second down, it's Daniel. Back in the end zone, he's got it. Barry McClory, touchdown Washington. What a terrific play at the back of the end zone. Greg, that is so hard to do, but something you did during your career. How do guys pull that off? Yeah, the key here, Mike, is the concentration to not only see the ball, but then you have to feel the ground. You have to know exactly where you are in the back line of the end zone. And tell you what, this is about as good as it gets. Come down with the ball, two feet in bounds, touchdown. Cyborg's extra point is true. And the Commanders will make it a two-score game as they are now up nine. Following the touchdown, he's out to kick it away. Spears now to return it. Return up near the 30-yard line, but that penalty marker could impact the spot. Let's get the call. First and 10. Out of the shotgun. Left. He'll get this one to his safety valve, complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. We tend to make NFL offense very complicated, Mike, but sometimes it's as simple as this. Get the ball into the hands of your playmakers and just let them do the rest. The tight end of Conquo is in motion. To the left side in the hands of Gore. It'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. To throw is Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a punt ball. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. When you decide to throw the ball on third and one, typically, Mike, what you're doing is you start from the top down. If you have the big shot downfield, take it. If not, the quarterback works through his progression, finds the medium target, picks up a first down. First and ten, and they give it to Powell. And he works past the 40, taken down after a gain of seven. Second down and three. They'll run once more, and it's powered again. And he's going to have the first down yard across the 50 to the 48. to throw and is caught by the man wearing zero Alvin Ridley a 
a good spot here, second and a yard. And now a handoff to Pollard. And I don't think he got there with that one. Only needed a yard. Wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. And now we're looking at third down. Now the offensive coordinator's got a decision on his hand, Mike. It was second and one. He decides to go with a conservative run. Gets stopped for no gain. He's in the exact same position now on third down. Does he try to change it up? Or does he just turn around and hand it off again? And he's going to be brought down right on that yellow line with the official signal. He's got enough for the first down. We are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. To throw is Levis. Throw here, right side, falls incomplete. We'll try again here, second and ten. Back to the air, it's Levis. Inside the ten, it is caught. And he's going to be brought down. I love these crossing routes, Mike. Not only do they put so much stress into the deep layers of the defense, but they really allow the wide receivers to run with the ball after the catch. We just saw a great example why, and it led to a huge chunk play. This has been some kind of march downfield now, and they pay it off with six. It's first and goal. They'll run here. It's Pollard. Down to the four, it'll be second and goal. Again, they try Pollard. That play may have taken a little bit too long to develop. It's no game. He's back at the four-yard line. Give credit to this defense, Mike. Their back's against the wall, and they're standing tall so far. Nothing on those first two runs. We'll see what the offense has in store now as they bring up third down. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked up by the former Wolverine, the rookie from Michigan. And in that spot, Mike, that's just painful to see. If the throw's not there, you want him to just get rid of it. Throw it 50 rows into the stands. Give somebody a souvenir. But worst case scenario, you've got to get to fourth down and have a shot at three points. But instead, after that pick, you come away with zero. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll run to begin the drive with Eckler. And he's out of bounds, up beyond the 40-yard line. Can't ask for much more. 22 yards on the first play of the drop. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. 
So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. And this throw batted away and incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. Third and long, and here's Daniels. And that is incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. Well, visitors offense and running back Tony Pollard going to take over once again. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. As you can probably imagine, Mike, this one really burns me. I mean, man, I wish my fellow tight ends catch every ball the entire game, but to be this open and not come down with it, I'm going to have to set a reminder next year at TEU, we're going to have to bring out some jokes machines. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Here's Levis. A quick slant. Hot by Boyd. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. They'll keep it on the ground. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. They'll run here. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. They'll run. Crazy. He'll dodge one would-be tackler. And wind up getting a nice gain of six on the play. They'll come up now for second down and four. Now Levis. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Right back to Boyd. He's got it again. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down.
Here's a second and three fourth come. They give to Pollard on the option. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. Now, on third and two, they'll try and throw for it. That is caught. What a throw. Alvin Ridley. Touchdown, Tennessee. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Titans will cut it to a two-point lead. So the lead is down to just two now in the fourth quarter as they kick it off. Returning is Igbenogany. And this will work out quite well. They get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. A dive and a catch. Incredible. A pickup of 12 yards. Good for a commander's first down. With wide receivers, I think we spend so much time by talking about their speed and their route running, and of course that's critical, but... The ability to not only catch the ball, but to concentrate on the bad throws. We used to have a saying, you get paid to catch the bad ones. And so a great example of you going down to get this ball, holding on through contact with the ground. And it's a big time play. A pickup of 21 on that connection. First down, Washington. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Off the zone read, Daniel's going to hang on to it. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Here now, third and five. They'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you and... All I know is, firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. So a big spot for Austin Seibert. This 
to stretch the lead to more than a field goal. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. A big three points as they extend their fourth quarter lead. So here's Seifert, made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. Spears now to return it. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. To the left side, caught by Ridley. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Plenty of time, plus two timeouts at their disposal. It's first and ten. The throw right side, taken in by Boyle. Closing in on 200 receiving yards for the game. He's been outstanding. That one good for a first down. And now after that big completion, Mike, they can't panic yet. They're not into the mode where they're in desperation. They have two timeouts in their back pocket. Take a deep breath. Get your best first down play call to your quarterback. A field goal is not going to do it. They got to think touchdown all the way. And they bring him down inside the 25 yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And he'll be taken down. Now, first and goal. They send Ridley in motion. From the gun, it's Levis. This one caught at the four. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point, he breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that. And he will get into the end zone. The conversion is good, and the lead is up to three here in the fourth quarter. Everybody's looking to end every drive with six, but when you can turn that six into eight, man, what a confidence boost coming off the field, and they're going to force their opponent now to start chasing. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Returning is Igbenogany. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. 
Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. There's that man again. Another catch. It'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Two timeouts, still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's McGurley on the left side. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. This game has certainly not been for the faint of heart, Mike. I mean, we've been riding the ups and downs the entire time. But what a job by this offense. Game on the line to find a way to score and take the lead with very little time remaining. Here's Seibert now for the point after. It's up and through. And the Commanders have taken a four-point advantage. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So we'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. Here's first and ten. Now, Levis. This one pulled in by Westbrook Akine. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Here's first down. Out of the shotgun. Levis. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. Throwing on second down. Levis. That's going to be incomplete, so no help there. And we're likely down to a final snap. Well, at some point, if I'm this quarterback, I think I'm going to start testing somebody else in this secondary. I mean, he's already made his impact felt multiple times today, and it doesn't matter who they line up across from him. Right now, he is completely taking them out of the game. Here's a ball thrown deep, right sideline. He's got it! And he's going to be out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Their late comeback bid comes up short as time has expired in this game. So it's a win here for the Commanders. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, Got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tarifa. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Commanders are winners, as we say so long from just outside our nation's capital.